Hi Bright Souls! Thanks for joining me for another video. This is my week four status update on the Adrenal uh, Body Type Program by Dr. Berg. And um, it's been a really rough week, so it's taken me a while to make the video. Um, I've had probably one of the more stressful weeks, um, definitely the most stressful week for this year, 2017. Um, but one of the most uh, stressful weeks I've had in a really long time, so it has not been a good week. Uh, let's see, where do I begin? Well, let's start with the beginning of the week. So I had the, um, I had my refrigerator break, and uh, everything in my freezer melted, and I lost half of what was in there, and I tried to salvage the um, the remainder of it. Uh, by cooking and eating it so I did not eat on program last week my um, week four was off program eating um, so just to give you an idea of some of what I was eating I had a lot of um, frozen food in there that was breaded and lots of you know rich uh, sweet sauces um, it was mostly um, soy products, um, the you know like the faux meats, um, chicken that's not really chicken, and barbecue ribs that are not really, you know, pork ribs, <laughs> you know that sort of stuff. And um, I just I couldn't stand the idea of it wasting, and I felt like I'd already lost so much of it that um, I made the decision to go off program and and consume those foods, those highly refined foods. Um, that I know is bad for my health and bad for my weight and my blood sugar. Um, but that was the decision I made because I didn't want to waste the money. So most of the eating last week was off program. Um, I think I consumed a lot more high glucose sugary foods um, than I should have, really. Um, but. I guess on the bright side, that stuff is out of my refrigerator now and my freezer, and uh, I didn't replenish it when I went back to the store. I won't be replenishing it because my goal is to eat, you know, high whole uh, and very low on the on the refined processed um, category. So I didn't, I haven't, and I won't be replenishing that sort of stuff. But because of that, I didn't um, eat as healthy as I should have. Then in the middle of the week, I got the news that I had been waiting on. Um, so you may have seen from some of my other videos that there are a lot of changes happening here at work on, on the, with my job. And I knew for a while that my job was going to be moving out of state. They were taking it out of the office that I work in and, and taking it, putting it into another office out of state. And you know, I really thought the waiting, the not knowing, when is this gonna happen, I really thought that was stressful. But I have to tell you that finding out, getting the dates, having the conversation, the finality of it all, <sighs> hit me like a brick. I mean, I've got so much stress pain in my neck and my shoulders. I am hurting still so bad from all of the stress. I. I I never would have dreamed it would have hit me so hard and it would just be this huge ton of weight on me. I was expecting it to be sort of a relief and the weight off of me and that's not what happened at all. So it really hit me like a ton of bricks and it's still kind of resting very heavy on me. But basically um, I was told, you know, this is the end date for your job. It's going to be moving to another state, um, to one of our offices in another state, but they did offer to relocate me so I get to keep my job but I just have to uproot my family and move to another state and so you know I talked about it with my family for you know a couple of days and um, we did make the decision that I am going to move my husband is going to leave a job that he's been very successful in for 12 years and move with me um, and so we're gonna we're gonna uproot our family and we're gonna move for my job and you know it's there's happy and then there's sad and there's like excitement 
and then there's like, I'm so afraid. It's been one of those weeks where it's been both good and bad. You know, I can see the good and then I can see the bad. You know, it's just been a real mixed bag and a real roller coaster emotionally. You know, I'm still so stressed out. And then once we made the decision that yes, you know, we were gonna, we're really gonna do this, then we started thinking, okay, what do we have to accomplish in order to make this happen? And we own a home and there are repairs we've been putting off that we can't put off anymore because we need to sell the house. And uh, so we started making that list. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm in so much pain. So yeah, fun times, fun times. Um, I, I imagine the next couple of months are gonna be higher stress months for me. Um, but I'm back on the program this week and uh, I, can t I am going to continue to work the program because it's been so successful and I've been so happy on it and I've been doing so well health-wise. Um, I fully expect that there will be more setbacks, hopefully not another week like this last week, but you know, you just don't know what the future holds and you know, what could happen. So yeah, that's been my week. You know, I I started out the week where, you know, I take the adrenal um, night formula before I go to bed, and that helps me. I, I said in, in some of my other uh, videos that it helps me to fall asleep and to stay asleep. Um, and the beginning of the week that wasn't happening, so I would I would fall asleep, you know, per normal, but then I would wake up and I would be up for like an hour. And then I remembered that Dr. Berg said, you know, if you, that happens and you wake up, um, you can take another one. So that's what I've been doing like the first, the first half of last week. Uh, when I would wake up, I would take another one. And then I kind of got smart and I said, you know, why don't I just take two before I go to bed? And so um, when I did that, I was actually able to sleep through the night. So the first part of the week, I wasn't sleeping through the night. I was waking up really tired. I was already really stressed and worried. And then the second half of the week, I, my, my sleep improved because I was taking two of them. And last night was the first night I, I decided to just try one. And I did sleep all the way through the night and I did wake up feeling pretty refreshed. So I, I think my system is calming down <laughs> and I'm getting back on track. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, so what did, um, in addition to the highly refined soy type products that I ate, I also did some snacking. Um, and so that was a no-no, I shouldn't be snacking. And I, I was snacking on nuts, which aren't really bad uh, for my blood sugar, not really good for my weight. Um, but I also included a lot of dried fruit. And dried fruit is a really heavy, hard punch sugar-wise. So the bad news is I snacked. The bad news is I had a lot of sugar last week. Um, but the good news is I didn't go back to my chips and my chocolate. You know, I didn't go to those foods. Um, and that's pretty amazing for me. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, yeah, so. I think I'm back to sleeping better. I, I was having a lot of sugar cravings and I'm not really having those right now. Yesterday and today, um, the sugar cravings have calmed down. Um, so I think the worst is behind me and I think I'm, I'm back on track. And um, something's happening with my hair. Anyway, um, so. Uh, my blood sugar, my all-time low for my blood sugar was 121 last week. I started the week at 121. And then as the week went on, it started creeping up. And it went from 121 to a high of 177. And I gained three pounds last week. Three pounds. So I'm 211. I'm no longer 209. I have to smile because if I don't smile, I'm going to cry. Uh, you know, I remember in my last video, I was like 
21 points and I'll be at a, at a normal fasting blood sugar. That's doable. It's no problem. I should be able to do that. Maybe I changed myself by saying that. Because <sighs> not only did I not do that, but I went the reverse. <sighs> not the video I wanted to make, guys. But that's life. That's the reality. And uh, I never quit. Um, I regrouped. I've, you know, gotten back on track. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, you know, until all the dust settles on this move until I'm, you know, settled. I do expect, expect the stress levels to go up and I do expect to suffer some more set, setbacks, but hopefully not as bad as this last week, hopefully not an entire week of off program eating. So that's my result, not very good, but it ain't over till it's over and I'm not quitting, so it ain't over. <laughs> Thanks for spending time with me. Have a fantastic day, guys.